If you like this kind of game, you should also check out Coffee Talk. I've seen it. I've seen it. There's also another one, I think it's called Valhalla. Like a cyberpunk bartending game, and I'm like... I'm... Like, the, the real reason that I'm playing games like this is because I've run out of USB slots. <laughs> because I've got this new mic. Which takes up uh, one of the more valuable slots. The um, USB power slot. So, I've ordered a uh, USB... a powered USB hub. But that's going to take a, another week or two to arrive. So I'm kind of just going through a lot of pointer clicks, which isn't so bad. All, all games that require like a keyboard mouse. But anything requiring the um, the old uh, 360 controller over here, I kind of have to uh, put the kibosh on. But it's cool. Like there's there's lots of cool games that use just a mouse keyboard or or just keyboard, so, you know, it's alright. There's also Bejeweled and Tetris. Tetris? Oh yeah, well, I mean, I've never been good at Tetris. Bejeweled, um, I think, I think I, I, I've heard of Bejeweled. I've heard of Bejeweled. I'm definitely more interested in doing a lot of, um, point and click adventures though, during this particular period. Truth be told, I would have streamed on, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, but just wasn't feeling it, you know? Just wasn't feeling it. I could have, I could have forced myself, but that's never good, you know? And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I thought, nah, vibes off. Fair enough, some days you just don't want to stream. It's not like you need to. Exactly. Exactly. He needs to get his uh, vanity up. It's being all depressed at the moment, so... Okay, we want to put in, um... A little bit of this. Uh, a little bit more of that. Yeah, there we go. I'm probably just going to chill and lurk. It's almost 3am my time. Oh, I didn't know it was so late. Yeah, dude, like... There's no expectations in my stream from my viewers. Um, and I, d I don't mean that in like a weird cynical way. It's like, if you lurk, it's fine. If you interact, it's fine. If you unfollow, it's fine. I'm still going to be here and I don't judge people on their actions. Like, so long as people aren't being dicks. You know, you, you don't need to spend money. You don't, you don't have to feel obligated to subscribe. You know, we just, we just chill here. And we play video games and we, we shoot the shit. No posturing, no bullshit. What you get is the real McCoy. We're just out here having fun. Alright, let's put a little bit of this absinthe here. There we go. Gonna put in some of this one in here. Let's 
save her that much. Alright. Okay. It's gone a bit too far. Put a bit of the uh, the old vodka in. bit more of that absinthe. Really? Come on man. Oh. A little bit more of this. by going a bit too far. Oh no, no, wait, wait. I can maybe still salvage this a little bit. Please? Please. Please. <laughs> Good. Good. Tell me more. Oh, interesting. Alley. Thank you for telling us that. Alright, so I think I've done a bit more. Yep, got a bit more of that. Roll, okay. Still missing out on a bit of information here, but, you know. Maybe that's because I've effed up, but we'll see. Yeah, nice. You would chill, dude. Thank you for that. Well, I appreciate your candor. You know, there are a lot of uh, fake people on this platform. And I, I don't want to be, like, salty about it, but... There are a lot of people that um, take people's goodwill for granted, or, um, you know, are, are using it basically to build themselves up, to be um, in a position to get money out of people. 
I think it's just, uh, it's wrong. There should be more people who are less concerned about the overall production quality of the stream and more concerned with how to be a decent human being. Being a bit more empathetic and all that. But luckily, I haven't had to deal with, like, constant streams of negativity from trolls or anything. And, you know, th there's lots to target, you know, like, bald head and wearing the glasses. So, you know, physical appearance, sure, sure, sure. But yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting off tangent. You know, like, I, I can't make people like me. But I'm not going to fake who I am on the internet. This is me. And if uh, people don't like that, that's on them. I can't make people like me. But if you like me, and if you think that I'm a chill person, I appreciate that compliment. I'll accept that compliment. I, I usually... I usually hate getting compliments, i I got to be honest. But I, I don't know how to... Deal with them or react to them. I'm usually like, huh, uh, hmm, yes. <laughs> I, I just don't know. Uh -huh. We found a hole in their security. There we go. Implant network. Okay. Sure. <laughs> we find us. This particular game because the we got the uh, the music in the background but some of this like I'm I'm playing this for the first time and I'm like oh I'm trying to get into it so if I'm not flapping my gums too often it's because of that Isn't Absinthe banned in Australia? You're correct. I've actually tried in, um, well, in the past, like a couple of years ago now. I tried to import some. Um, so I, I've tried to do it twice. <laughs> um, there are legal distributors on the East Coast. So I was able to get a, um, a bottle of authentic French Absinthe a couple of years ago. Um, magical stuff. Um, if I saw, like, a couple of brands, I, sh I would be able to pick it out, but I don't recall the details. Um, then there was, um, an absinthe forum, which had, like, um, a sample set of five different absinths. I tried to get that imported in, um, and it was stopped by customs. So basically... If you try to get something from overseas that's not a... a an authorized distributor in Australia, you're going to be shit out of luck, and Customs is going to seize it, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna like you. They're probably gonna put your name in a blacklist. I'm not sure if my name is still on a blacklist, but you know, it's whatever. Um, but I do know that if you go through the official distributor in Australia, you're paying a little bit more of a premium. But at least you can legally get a bottle of authentic absinthe. I've seen some of the stuff that they call, you know, absinthe, and it's uh, it's just 